What do we do about bending the cost curve? What's the best way to do it? And uh, I yield the floor. Mr. President, say the Senator. Mr. President uh, Mr. Ryan's going to open this conversation on behalf of us. Thank you. Uh, look, we agree on the problem here. And the problem is health inflation is driving us off of a fiscal cliff. Mr. President, you've said health care reform is budget reform. You're right. We agree with that. Medicare right now has a $38 trillion unfunded liability. That's $38 trillion in empty promises to my parents' generation, our generation, our kids' generation. Medicaid's growing at 21% this year. It's suffocating states' budgets. It's adding trillions in obligations that we have no means to pay for it. Now, you're right to frame the debate on cost and health inflation. This bill does not control costs. This bill does not reduce deficits. Instead, this bill adds a new health care entitlement at a time when we have no idea how to pay for the entitlements we already have. A bill that is full of gimmicks and smoke and mirrors. Now, what do I mean when I say that? Well, first off, the bill has 10 years of tax increases, about half a trillion dollars, with 10 years of Medicare cuts, about half a trillion dollars, to pay for six years of spending. Now, what's the true 10-year cost of this bill? Uh, the Senate Budget Committee chairman said that this is a Ponzi scheme that would make Bernie Madoff proud. And so when you take a look at all of this, when you strip out the double counting and what I would call these gimmicks, the full 10-year cost of this bill has a $460 billion deficit. The second 10-year cost of this bill has a $1.4 trillion deficit. Hiding spending does not reduce spending. Are we bending the cost curve down or are we bending the cost curve up? And I've got to tell you, the American people are engaged. And if you think they want a government takeover of health care, I would respectfully submit you're not listening to them. So what we simply want to do is start over, work on a clean sheet of paper, move through these issues step by step, and fix them and bring down health care costs and not raise them. And that's basically the point.